we go. Alternate ban Tykes while PPP ban Turiel. Then first pick was Arthas for alternate. Tassadar for PPP. And Harrigan, surprisingly, uh, by alternate. Ufer pickup by PPP. Brightwing out of alternate again. So Brightwing is one of those consistent heroes tonight. And then we have Valor being picked up by PPP. Yeah, Brightwing and User, no match without them. Yeah, I think so. Alternate could probably go for another Warrior right now. Um, maybe a noob. They um, did a good job handling a noob last game, so I'd love to see a noob out of them. I think you will. Yeah. Um, if not a noob, Shen might work, but if you have Brightwing, you don't really need Shen that much um, for, for zoning. Uh, Muradin, I've only seen him on, on Nomi, so I don't know, I don't think anyone's gonna go for him. ETC, kind of a weird pick, so I would say go with a noob. Yeah. Uh, uh, Muradin last week in ESL tournament, you saw him, or...? Yep, yep, okay. uh, on Nomi, uh, on Wellmet. Yeah, I didn't see him before, so I just want to ask. Yeah, he he's not a regular pickup in in uh, normal games and pub games either. So yeah. <laughs> Raise your Gucci's! Wow, that guy has some serious fans. <laughs> uh, so okay, why why are they taking so long for this pick? I have so much time. That's weird. That's weird right there. Wasn't it a ban there? Oh, yeah, I totally missed the bans. Yeah. Okay, so ban on Stitches by Alternate and a ban on Falset by Vipolino. By the way, we have another map. Finally, they can choose Cursed Hollow two times in a row. Uh. So we're going to play on Dragon Shire. You're a lucky one. <laughs> Dragon Shire, that's nice. Yeah, Dragon Shire. So I'm kind of surprised by the Falstead ban, because Falstead is a really solid pickup on Dragonshire. They could have just counterpicked him. But they do have two assassins already, so that makes sense to, to block him. And we have Zagara yeah. going down for alternate. A little bit surprising, but uh, she works out as a, well, kind of a war warrior substitute, <coughs> if you want to say so. <coughs> and now they need another assassin. But Shen is going to be the pickup here by PPP. I'm kind of surprised not seeing Abathur um, for either of these teams. Uh, and Uberak. I mean. And Uberak, you mean, yeah. And uh, now we need maybe another warrior out of PPP. So they could be going for a noob as their final pick. And we'll probably see another assassin here for alternate. Let's see, who are they going to go for? F Tesla and the other team. Oh, Rainer. it's Rainer. Rainer, okay. I was thinking maybe Illidan, but mm. with Shen on the team, um, he can really um, block those uh, burst damage attempts and get in the way of everything. Ooh, okay. That's a little bit surprising. Zeratul? Didn't expect that. Okay. Zeratul, Shen. Okay, that's an interesting composition here out of PPP. Um, hmm. Let's see if they can make it work. I think everyone's ready. We can get started in this game. Really nice. Okay, <laughs> guys, it's about enough. time to learn Polish. Uh, if you've not learned Polish yet, um, yeah, just get into chat and Elrox will, will teach you the way. <laughs> Thank you, Elrox. <laughs> Czech is hi. Dzień dobry is good morning. Oh, it sounds really nice. Zaurani is Stomp. Okay, um, and the last one I'm not gonna say because I know what that means. <laughs> I think everyone knows what Kova means. So. Yeah, I, I think everyone knows. Yes, we're ready. Um, so let's get it on. Final between Alternate and PPP. And don't forget, it's best of three. Yeah, finally. Finally. Okay, let me just save that overlay, and we should be good to go. And for the first time tonight, we're not going to see Cursed Hollow. <laughs> no, you, so, you are not going to see Cursed Hollow. 
Yeah, you saw another map, right? Uh, which one was it? Haunted, Haunted Mines. Mines. That's a little bit surprising since Haunted Mines is usually not picked. But uh, let's get started here. On the left side, on Dragonshire, in the blue trunks, we have Plane with Pain. And they have Vala, they have Zeratul, they have Uther, Tassadar, and Shen. And on the right, in the red clothes, we have PP. Uh, no, I'm wrong. We have Alternate uh, playing with Kerrigan, with Brightwing, Mobs US Arthur's. Uh, Glutehammer as Reyna and Gushio as Zagara. So now he's finally gonna play that Zagara. Well, they did ban Felstead and Abathur, so um, no, they didn't ban Abathur, but he was not he was not picked. So um, apparently that Zagara is one of his favorite heroes as well. Yeah, they ban Falstart, so he has to pick Zagara. Oh, and we have Arthas and Kerrigan making their way around the bushes here. Zeratuls might be a little bit in trouble there. Yeah, they tried to sneak in. Yeah, good zoning control out of out of Zagara. She knows what's up, but they have three players down there, so they're not gonna go for that gank attempt right now. Uh, it doesn't make sense. The uh, maybe if they can pick, uh, can single out a target like Uther right now, but nope, there's not gonna be any follow up coming in. Uh, but they will be able to grab that shrine if they can just put on the pressure there. Bain trying to move in, but uh, not quite uh. really good. Yeah, so just uh, continuous pressure down here. And ooh, Zagar a little bit out of position there. But Zero Tool uh, by himself can't really do all that much right there. And now they are going to be able to grab that shrine. Those and Arthas is still even on the top down there. I don't think they're gonna uh, gonna be able to contest that shrine right now. And can Reyna just jump in there? We'll see. A lot of burst damage coming out. And Vala, she's so low, but there's no follow up. <laughs> wow. Kerrigan, Kerrigan probably used her grasp there before. Pain will he be able to contest that shrine. I think he can. Oh, it's gonna be uncaptured, but oh, so close. Really That's like close there. Really good job to disrupt Reyna with the channeling. And even the counter capture now coming out of out of playing with pain. Good job, but oh, they already lose that shrine so quickly. So let's have a look on the top. Right wing against Shen. Right wing did a quite nice job until now. <laughs> yeah, just continuous, uh, continuous uh, uh, bra brawling down there in the bottom lane. And Raynor, he's taking a lot of damage, but they don't really want to go in there. Uh, Pain already used all his skills and was on cooldown, but they What's going on? Go Kerrigan. Oh, they want to get Tassada, but not not really possible whatsoever. She will get away. And still, uh, the shrine control goes to playing with Pain. Uh, they're doing good job so a good job so far. Uh, we'll lose that bottom shrine now. But was it enough time? No, nope, not quite. Couldn't Rainer quite channel it just there. I mean, it's gonna be tough for either of these teams to grab the Dragon Shrine with Reyna and Tassada in mid lane. Yep. If they do get the gank up on him, that would be the time to capitalize on it and grab those shrines finally. Pain is waiting here to get Reyna. Nope, not enough damage coming in. Ooh, actually that storm did a decent amount of damage. Reyna might have fallen there. And Zagara will lose control of this shrine. First cam. Single hunter killer left there, and can they? Yes, they finally can grab that dragon knight, and now the pressure is on. Let's see where they're going. Uh, looks like he wants to take out this middle lane. Was a good moment to take the dragon knight, cause the members from alternate just making the easy camp. Dragon knight is moving down. Zagara is a little bit out of position, but he just wants to stop those. Um, he just wants to stop those. The Seed Shines from moving on on. I don't know if that's a good idea, because if you have the Dragon Knight always changing lanes, he's losing so much time, and um, I don't know, there's only 19, 18 seconds left on him. So they should probably do more damage here, get those gates down, possibly get the towers. I, I mean, they're not gonna get the keep right there with the first Dragon Knight. Um, not if they get some really nice early pickups at least. But they should get those towers. They should get the gates, which makes it so much easier to to engage at these uh, at these keeps. 
At least there. I get one. Popping out of the Dragon Knight, but no real engagement attempt coming out of out of alternate right here. Yeah, no much not much use in this Dragon Knight, I think. And we might see another gank attempt right there, but Kerrigan, oh, she just used to grasp, so uh, Ufu is not going to be in trouble. As they're just waiting down here, a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of passive waiting. They do want to get that possibility to um, to just surprise their opponent, but it's not going to work out right now. I mean, not uh, not really cooperating that well uh, playing with painters. But there's there's the capture on the hard camp by ultimate. Shouldn't have too much problem dealing with this. Kerrigan's doing a good amount of damage on these knights. So they're gonna grab that ASAP and have the knights marching down top lane. And Brightwing desperately needs the help. Shen is doing a good job pushing this lane so far. Uh, already doing a little bit of damage on those on these towers. And let's see, we might see the next little team fight. No, they just get rid of the giants and the next round comes in. I'm just waiting for the fight on the middle lane. Yeah, let's have a look at the level 10 talents. Uh, we should be seeing it in fighting pretty soon. Divine Storm, Archon, Storm Wraith and Fire, Void Prison, Reign of Vengeance, regular talents, no real surprises. We have the Maelstrom on Kerrigan, Emerald Wind on Brightwing, Army of the Dead on Arthas, and Rainer's Raiders on Rainer. Zagara, of course, with the Devouring Maw. So no real surprises. Oh, Tassadar? Nope. Not gonna make anything happen here. So really passive game uh, this early on. Um, let's see if they can grab the next Dragon Shrine as well. Brightwing is in position. Shen is there though, so I don't think she can do that much. Oh, and there comes the Polymor. And he jumps up on top and will recapture that shrine. Can they re-grab it? Uh, not without any help. Ooh, Zeratu moves in. Doing a decent bit of damage, but yeah, I mean, Brightwing, uh, she does get away pretty easily here. Nice gank to Pam could be coming in. We'll see, we'll see. Luby does get away. Slips out of that little grass there. Oh, and Zeratu, a little bit out of position, but it's only three heroes. Zagaro's not quite there. There comes the stun and the follow up, and wow, just taking so much damage. Kerrigan goes down. They do get two heroes in there, though. Oh, three heroes even. And look but at they the all get away. Nice. Amazing disengage out of playing with pain. Really good job. I have some technical problems here. My PC is nearly a crash, I think. My okay. frame rate is dropping. Um, maybe uh, just turn down your shaders or something. Um, the Dragon Knight, meanwhile, was taken by Alternate, but they already got out of it. Ooh, Shen, just jumping in the storm. Maybe not the best choice right there. But Alternate, not in their full lineup right now, so they can't really take that engagement. Uh, Talents, pretty much down for Alternate right now, so they should play a little bit more cautiously. Yep, and they're gonna do just that. Grab the easy camp uh, with three heroes even, just to play it really safe. Uh, Zagara's still doing a good job, just pushing down this bot lane. Uh, with Zeratul down there, I don't know if that's the right choice, but uh, I mean, we had playing with Pain, just grabbing the top, going for the hard camp, and Brightwing might be in a little bit of trouble. He, she might need help up there. <laughs> I'd really like to say anything to this match, but my PC just crashes down. I have a first what you say. <laughs> okay, try try to turn the shaders down, maybe you can get back into the game. Oh, yeah. there's a nice engage at the polymorph on, on Uther, but he gets away, and there comes the shield and the heal, and an amazing Void Prison coming out, but doing so much damage. And, wow, Uther goes down, they did catch Arthas and will get Brightwing. Oh, this is this is getting out of control, they will, gonna, they will get Rainer as well. Good job, wow, that Void Prison. Today is the day of the Void Prisons, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> I will mark it on my calendar. Yep. Day of Void Prison. Yeah. November 12th, November. Day of Void Prison. Oh, you're yeah, right. 12th. Now they're pretty low right now. Um, it's a good idea to grab that easy camp right now just to steal the way. Uh, it's not gonna do all that much since Zagara is bot lane. She's just gonna stop those guys. But um, just 
since they need to return to the Nexus anyways to heal up, uh, just grab that easy camp, uh, do it safely. Ooh, we see the bribe on Krolo here. So, a little bit of a counter push by those seed giants. Um, I think a little bit better opposition here on, on Alternate's side. They're just gonna stop those seed giants, no problem whatsoever. They go down in the jiffy. And Raynor might be able to grab the Dragon Knight. Yeah, with Krolu's help, he sure is. But remainder of oh, Playing with Pain is coming in. A little bit too late, though. And Chen, a little bit of position, but they rightly not engage him. An amazing Maw coming out of these two. Dragon Knight gets in position to stop them. And there he goes. Putting on a lot of damage at the grasp of Luvi, they get him. Ufer goes down, and this camp is definitely, uh, this fort is definitely in trouble. Another good stun here on Pain, but he should get away. No, there comes another grasp. And will he get away? It's gonna be close. Oh, jeez, the Void Prison again saving him. They're a little bit too close to each other. Um, we did have a little leaf here by Nebu. Oh, yeah, he completely dropped out of it. Uh, so Co-Quests are completely gone, maybe he'll make a comeback happen. But uh, I think I know someone that really needs that comeback to happen. Playing with Pain, they're in trouble right now. Um, bottom Fort, almost gone. Top Fort, in big trouble. Dragon Knight's still up for 10 more seconds, it's gonna do some decent amount of damage. They might even grab another kill here, but that Void Prison really saved their day again. And Kerrigan down there gets the grasp on Tassada, but he always gets away, so... So decently, the fort falls and Dragon Knight does pop out. Oh, Vela, she's in trouble. Zero two as well. And Kerrigan, oh, she's so low. Luvi's following her. And Shen as well. She's, go yeah, she's gonna drop. She's gonna drop dead. And Luvi now in trouble as well. Uther just following Chase. Given Chase there and Shen, well, he has no issues getting away. At least he shouldn't have. Yep, there comes the storm out of Bakery. Yeah, they keep everyone. Everyone else they do keep alive. But Vala did fall pretty quickly in that engagement, and uh, Ufer also, um, I mean, he did want to get that kill on Kerrigan. But not the most mobile hero for those chase down sequences. So it's gonna be, once again, Alternate putting on the pressure. Grabbing the hard camp. Should go for the easy camp here pretty soon as well. Zagara is doing a good job just controlling this bot lane. Um, I mean, she's one of those really, really versatile heroes that can just solo a lane, no worries whatsoever, and give a good, uh, good map vision for your team at the same time. Yeah, easy camp is being grabbed. Right wing is back in action as well, so they do want to go for that next team fight. Well, maybe not so much now that uh, now that playing with pain is up to the level 16 talents as well, but they do want to get that forward. And just waiting there. Um, not that much ammo left. Good storm coming in, but most of the minions are still up, and they're just putting out so much, so much damage on the fort. Just falls so quickly. Still six forts for alternate. Wow, they're a really dominant team in this in this tournament. I gotta say, um, might even. Oh yeah, they're they're gonna grab the hard camp. No, they want to get the next engagement. Pain is a little bit out of position, but no real fall off stunts to happen there. I'm a little bit surprised that I'm not going for the hard camp straight away. That would be a nice, uh, yeah, nice addition to to the hard camp that's already moving their way. But the gate is down, which helps for later engagements, so that's a good idea as well. And maybe they can get a next pickup. Lino's gearing up, and he's stunned. Yeah, but being healed up also quickly. Luffy moves in, nice Void Prison. Oh, he moves right into the Void Prison! And there comes the Divine Storm, but not catching all, all of these heroes. Karen goes down, Brightwing goes down, Zagara close to falling as well, but Ufer, he did sacrifice him there, himself there in this engagement. Vala, oh, she should get away. Yes, she does. Hazard is still in the fight, but yeah, Zagara is taken out, and Vala as well. Ooh, Pain, he might be in trouble, but he really wants to dish out that damage. Appears the demise though, and Shen still on the chase, and that's a team wipe right there. They should have gone for those, uh, for those camps, uh, for the hard camp. But now, that might be the possibility for playing with pain to make a comeback happen. They can go for their own hard camp, go for these shrines, and without any real issues, just go for the Dragon Knight. And they're not that far behind as far as experience is concerned. <laughs>
Yep, Dragon Knight is just gonna continue pressuring here in the mid lane. Everyone else just grabbed... Uh, oh no, they didn't grab the camps before, and that's kind of surprising. They could have made the, sp the push a lot stronger, but they knew, okay, that time is coming up pretty soon here. Can't do all that much, but the first first fall falls, and I think the Dragon Knight might be able to grab another one. Let's see if he can make it happen. Oh, alternate is already moving into position to defend this, but oh, most of the towers are gone, so they're gonna they're gonna be in for a tough fight. Arthas is coming in, Zagara joining the fray. Only Vipolino on that on that fort, but he's doing so much damage, it should fall here without too much issues. Oh, there comes the kick, and Vipolino, he's so low, he needs to get away. Oh no, he's taken out. Void Prism comes in, getting free heroes again. Man, these Void Prism just hit spot on. Oh, Kerrigan, a little bit miss on the grass there. Bakery still alive. And they will give chase. Can he get another voice? No. Oh, even putting his ultimate there. Oh, this might be the way here for alternate to just assert their dominance once again. It's 5v3. We're not ready for a resurgence of the storm, so they can't come back. And they're gonna get that keep, no worries whatsoever. These were actually some crucial pickups right there for alternate. And they're gonna go straight for the Nexus. The ultimate is popped for for Kerrigan. She does some decent damage. There comes there comes the Emerald Wind out of Crow. Oh, nice uh, yeah, nice ultimate coming out of Luvi. But so much damage still going down. I think they can just focus down the Nexus. Mapsio is still doing a decent amount of damage. 5%, 3%? Oh! 0%? At the... Still, that's weird. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Red team wins. For a second, I was kind of confused since uh, usually it comes up a lot faster. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> wow, what a fight. What a fight that was. Wow, alternate almost, almost throwing that game for a sec, but uh, they did manage to come back, sort of the dominance once again, and. Yeah, just pushing down uh, on the bot lane there. They really wanted to stay in that lane. They almost gave up the game just to get close to the keep, get the gate down, and then just go in there before the storm powers were up. I think that that was the most crucial thing about this uh, about this fight. Now let's see if we can get uh, Nebu back in the game. Apparently, it's not his computer is not restarting. All right, before I miss it again, let me just talk to uh, talk to the guys just so they sent me the draft link once it's up. All right, I think we should be good. So, okay, let's have a look at uh, let's have a look at some of these engagements. Maybe I did capture one, did I? Oh geez, only one. Okay, let's do it. I don't know which one I captured though, so I have to figure that out as we go along. Uh, that was oh, this was the turnaround where um, playing with pain almost made a comeback happen. This was, yeah, I don't know, it was a little bit of a weird choice. They wanted to uh, go for the Dragon Knight right away. Maybe they should have just grabbed the hard camp before. Since, I mean, the cooldown timers, um, only 10 seconds on Kerrigan and Brightwing, those two can't really do all that much. Um, Brightwing, of course, is a little bit mobile, but um, I think they would have gotten the hard camp and the Dragon Knight at the same time, which would have given them a lot better potential to uh, actually make the comeback possible. Uh, let's scroll a little bit ahead, jump ahead in time. Yeah, so they wanted to grab that fort in the bottom. And Vipolino going really, really deep in there. And then he just pops out of it. They dish out a lot of damage onto him. A really good focus firing. And he pops out before he can even kick anyone. And there comes the final kick. Kerrigan um, in there. And yeah, Void Prism again, saving them. 
And now on the retreat, they lost Tassadar, and that was the main problem here. With Tassadar gone, um, no real, no real potential to actually keep these other guys alive. And then five v three, yeah, no chance in hell they can even take that fight without research of the storm. All right, Hots is awesome. You get it, Crusher. Okay, do we have a draft link up? Nope, not yet. Not quite yet. So let's check out how El Nexo is doing versus Well Met in the third place match. Have a look at the score. Oh. Hmm. Are they already done? It's kind of weird. Or oh, they're kind. Of, oh, they're. They might be on pause right now. Alrighty, so, uh, or not. <laughs> okay, they don't have a party yet. So we're gonna go into a quick commercial break here on More TV. I'm G-Shock, your host for tonight for the Enter the Nexus Tournament. Powered by Steel Series, I'll show you those sweet prizes um, after the break. And for now, little, little Steel Series ad. And we are back, but still without a draft. <laughs> so we're gonna go into a, a, a real commercial break right now. I gotta uh, grab a drink, get some more honey to soothe that voice, and then we'll be back. Hopefully be back with a draft and with the second game, possibly last game in the final of the Enter the Nexus tournament. I'm G-Shock, you stay tuned, we'll be right back.
Alright guys, we're back with the Enter the Nexus Tournament. I finally have that draft link ready for you guys. Thank you, Zam... Oh god, I can't even pronounce that. Zam Vichiatas? Zam Vichiatas? Thank you for tuning in. And someone asked me to pronounce something, or actually say something in Polish, which I'm pretty sure means Team Alternate is gonna stomp PPP. <laughs> Um, I don't know, I mean, PPP, PPP put up a decent fight, so I wouldn't count them out just yet. And let's go into the draft. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Let's do it. We have a ban of Tyrael out of PPP and a ban on Tychus by Alternate. And first pick goes to Tassadar for PPP. While Alternate picks up Stitches. Okay. We've not seen Stitches all night long. So I really want to see a good Stitches player. I really want to see those hooks making a difference. Next pick up here is Uther out of Alternate. So, since we do have that Warrior gone, they can take a little bit more time and maybe grab a really strong Assassin uh, for PvP. Maybe going for false set right away. By the way, the map is Garden of Terror. No, they pick up Rainer. That's a weird, uh, really weird second pick. Oh, okay, it all makes sense now. They're gonna go for Rhaegar. Rhaegar is the follow-up. So a possible Bloodlust combo coming in. If they can snag up um, a nice damage dealer or at least um, someone that's somewhere on the middle road there. When will the next game start? Um, well, it should be coming up just as the, after the draft, so maybe three minutes. Oh, you guys are on delay. Oh, Anubarak picked up by Alternate. Wow, Anubarak stitches. That is solid. Stun, reel them in, and you got yourself a party. Okay, next pick. Oh no, next ban is coming in for PPP. Let's see, who are they going to ban? I mean, most of the ban-worthy characters are already out. They might... They might ban Illidan. Since uh, we do have a couple more assassins that should be coming in for alternate. Since they don't have any yet. No, Zagara. Also, a solid choice. Makes sense. Let's see the ban out of alternate. And it's Illidan. Yeah, Illidan would have been a nice uh, nice hero to pick here as well. <laughs> okay, we might get the next co-caster. <laughs> oh. What a day, just changing casters all day long. I'm the only one that just stays here. Okay, we're gonna have Karayan join in, team captain of Mossports. Let me just give him a call. And then we have... And then we complete the caster carousel. Hey Jan, how you doing? Oh wait. <laughs> oh wait, what's going on? You probably didn't set his settings. Oh, we have the next... Uh... Yeah, I'm back, sorry. Uh, do you have the draft link? Not yet, uh, right? No, I'll, I need I'll send you the, I'll send you the draft link. They're already done though. So oh, they okay. might start pretty soon. You're in the lobby, so that works yeah, out. Yeah, that's not um, Yeah, so uh, after after Rega, we have Valor and Shen for PPP. They um, did some decent handling on Shen in that last game, so I think he's a he's a good solid pickup. Um, and then we have Falstad and Nazebo out of alternate. Um, interesting comp they're playing here. Uh, I can click on the draft line somehow, it doesn't show it to me. Okay, well, I'll tell you. Um, PPP picked up Tassadar, Rainer... Yeah, I, can, I can see the PPP lineup, just uh, tell uh, me what the... Uh, alternate is um, Ditches, Uther, Anoop, 
Valstead and Nazebo. Okay. So they're going with the double tank again? Yep. Um, and I think with, with Stitches and the noob in there, wow. Uh, that's pretty incredible. And also the combination Stitches and the Zebo, you can just trap him in there, um, okay. follow that up with the stun, and have Falstad, um, Falstad and noob just deal out the damage. Yeah, you definitely can. I mean, Stitches is one of the best tanks in the game, and Anubarak, yeah, he's, a, he's a really good bruiser. I mean, like, he has a lot of CC. He's not that much, he has not that much sustain, but yeah, he is viable only for, of course, um, for, his, for CC. I mean, like, his CC is so good, he has so much yeah. stun. And also his disengages, or engages, if you want to call them, uh, yeah. with the deep dive. He can just go in there, surprise, and if you have a good Anub player, um, you're always going to be ahead in these fights uh, if he just knows when to disengage. Yeah, definitely. No, normally, yeah. you, you don't you don't really see a Stitches and a Nubarak on a team together, but yeah, I mean, I'm really good to see that. Yeah, um, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it can work out um, if you if you in, uh, do the initiation with a noob and then just reel it in with Stitches, but it's also a little bit of a waste since you might get more than one hero. Um, All right, did, let's get started in the game here. Did I want to get banned again? Uh, what do you what do you what do you say? Did, did Abathur uh, get banned again? Got banned again? No, Abathur uh, was available for pickup. Okay, so yeah, PPP doesn't play him uh, a lot. I, I think they don't play him at all, and I don't know about alternate if they play him at least. But yeah, we'll see. Mm, yeah, Guccio usually plays Abathur at, at least according to uh, our lovely chat. Okay, so on the left side here on uh, what's the map again? Cur uh, no. Jeez, it's too late. Um, <laughs> it's got the Garden of Terror. Um, we have alternate with stitches with Anubarak, with Nazebo in the top lane. Falsa taking the middle, and Ufer spotting down here in the bottom lane. I mean, like, I can see why alternate is not picking up Alpha, even though he's pretty OP in the last couple of days or since the, since the patch he got buffed. And especially on that map, because you can easily split push, split push and switch between the lanes, they don't have pretty much something to copy him into. I mean, Falstad, yeah, he's kind of okay to copy Falstad, but ideally, you just want the Tychus copy, because it's just so awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, I gotta agree there. And we will see the easy cam pick up out of the noob with stitches here. Um, still a composition as in last time where we had a noob interior um, going for those easy cam pickups. Uh, of course, Stitches can take a little bit more damage. It's gonna take a little bit longer, but with these uh, with these stuns coming in out of the noob, uh, they're still gonna pick it up, no worries at all. Yeah, on the bottom line, we have still three members of PPP. They tried here to get Krolo on the Uther, but somehow he did manage to see one of them, and so he yeah, just uh, went a little... just stepped a step back. No problem for him. And now we're actually seeing uh, alternate with Wopsio and Vaso going onto the top lane to make Ooh, a gank. Shen might be in game. trouble, but oh, Stitches moves in there a little bit too late. Uh, a little bit surprised about this uh, composition. Uh, but I mean, it does work out. I mean, it's, it's essentially what we talked about before having a noob in there for the initial uh, for the initial stun and then Stitches to follow it up and yeah. the Zeebo to trap them um, if they do get that, uh, if they do hit that hook. Yeah, but people don't know exactly what's going on. I mean, if they do these, if they do the easy camp on the upper left side, there's just two spots where they can go. They can either go and pressure the enemy hard, hard or easy camps on the mid or top lane. Uh, yeah, now they go seats, or they go directly to either the top lane oh, or the mid lane. Uther, he might be caught oh out of position, God. but a good yeah. sun coming in of Rhaegar, he gets away. Oh. Meanwhile, Ripolino already uh, got ganked again, but no problem here. But the ammunition on the top lane is already low, so... It, we could see a good pressure here coming out of alternate. Yeah, they, they did an amazing job just bolstering this attack uh, with the easy camp and already getting rid of the ammunition, getting rid of the gate, and now they might be able to even get those towers. Yeah, PvP has to come up now, I mean... But I, I'm not really sure if they should fight that. They are not uh, that much behind in experience. Actually, it's pretty even. But... I don't know well, if they should fight. We might this. see a gank up attempt here. Stitches is waiting. Anub also waiting, lurking here in the bushes. 
But uh, I think, yeah, I think yeah, we, he we, knows what's up. We saw, we saw pings. I don't know yeah. why, they, why they did not change. I mean, like, uh, Stitches could ho easily hook in and then you get the... Oh, amazing hook going down on Reynard, but no follow-up yet out of a noob. Yeah. If, if they really move switch there. sides, like Stitches is behind, they can easily trap him between them and bo just body block him out of hell. But, yeah, you see Fox is gonna, Yeah, he's gonna ride that easy camp. Nice steal. Meanwhile, we have topped the next engagement and Stitches and Vitalino are actually getting engaged. Basil already is a little bit low and this might go Oh, Ooh, the Stitches, the there's the turnaround, they make it happen. Wow, Reyna dishing out the damage there, and they kept Vipolino alive. Luvi doing a really good job healing him back up. So, first blood does go to PPP. Yes. And now they do have the time to pick up those seeds, uh, grab the Garden Terror, but Anub is still there, and with a good stun, yep. Uh, well, at least he delays it a little bit, but no one really there to capitalize on it. Yeah, no, no team has enough seeds to uh, summon the Garden Plant. Uh, I still don't know... PvP is still very inactive when it comes to the uh, mercenary camps, so they could actually start to pick out one of their own camps. Like, yeah, the middle one, but oh, Vasil already here. Good uh, totem here by Luvi, but yeah, this is a good engagement for them. Oh they yeah, have to get back. Vasil wants to get in there. Chen is coming in from the bottom, but he gets picked off. They really need to move in there together, otherwise it's not gonna work. And there comes a storm out of Tassada, but they are gonna grab that and steal that easy camp. Nice move by Alternate. Now you can see that they have good communication. As soon as Stitches went and he saw that actually Luvi and... Uh, um, I guess it was... Uh, yeah, that Luvi and Pain are going to make that... To, uh, to go for that easy camp. There were instantly four people of Alternate in uh, close to that easy camp to, to just contest it. Yeah, they're gonna grab the easy camp on top lane again. Oh, Chrono so, on the um, bottom. And he gets away. Yeah, and they're gonna grab that easy cap on top and gonna put on additional pressure here on the fort. Um, it's already lost some ammunition and finally PPP grabbing their hard camp. They would have lost this camp as well, they would have been in trouble here. Um, I mean, they're already under a lot of pressure with these easy mobs coming or easy camps coming in. Um, but I, I think they're fast enough. Yeah, like, if they have the hard camp to counter push it, I think they should be fine, especially since they do have four heroes up there. And they might even get a gank attempt going here. Oh, Nazebo? Nope, they can't pick him up. But Stitches, he's yeah, in trouble. Stitches, they come the Rainers, and they should pick him up. No worries whatsoever. Raiders are coming in, and Noob still out of the gates, but nope, there's no final push coming in. Uh, now both teams have level 10, and the mid midway is actually pushing now for PvPs uh, for alternate. So Gluehammer can go up to the top line and try to try to help his teammate to defend it. And oh, here we have the first ultimate out of the Witch Doctor. They're going strong for Rivalino, but yeah, actually he has his ultimate now. And uh, I guess if we look at the talents, yes, he has the uh, three pandas again. So Storm from Fire, and so he should not die. Yeah, we have Logos Swarm on the Nuba Rock, Divine Storm on Uther, Stitches goes with the Gorge, Revenant Spirit of course on the Zebo, we saw that. Shock and Awe on Falsa, and I think I have to go back to the fight. Nope, they're disengaged again. Uh, Rega is going for Bloodlust, uh, like we said before, and Raiders, Raiders on Reyna. No Reven Fire for Chen, Rain of Vengeance for Vala, and. Ooh, that's a surprise. Bakery going for Force Wall. Let's yeah. see if they ca can capitalize on that. I mean, with Shen in combination, they can really zone out, uh, alternate. But uh, so far, they've not shown their strong side in these team engagements. I mean, you, you can do it on that map. You don't necessarily need that much oh, damage. Oh, good hook coming in. And there comes the Gorge. They're gonna get pain. He's just trapped back there. He can't get away. Oh my he does God. pop the Raiders. Yeah. Oh, what? The jump over by Chen. Can they make it happen? Here comes the... What? The oh, shock no, and awe to stop everything. Belito still in there. Pain does get away. He gets the shield, but he's still taken out. Nevertheless, Raynor does go down, but they do grab false that in that exchange. Yeah, Chen is so low. Rega popping the heel. He's staying alive for a little bit longer. And Belito still in there. He will get oh, picked up, though. And Bakery will fall, maybe, as well. Oh, Bakery comes out of the fight. But yeah, I, I don't know why PPP engaged this. Yeah, they should have just let Reno die. Yeah. Um, I mean, he would have popped a little bit more damage in, um, but... It's, it's okay, it's level 12. The death timer is not that big though already. Yeah. But, yeah. 
And losing three heroes in that engagement cost them uh, cost them their early game advantage, and now they even lose a lot of seeds. Um, we see the first Terrors are growing for both of these teams, so it's not too big of an issue right now. Nevertheless, that was not the best engagement they could have taken there. No. But they did, uh, I mean, props to them, that didn't look nearly as bad as it should have. Yeah, Alternate was a little bit out of position when the fight started. Um, Stitches got a hook and a gorge onto the Raider. But in the meantime, Tessada was close to the mid lane and getting chased by three members of Team Alternate. So they had already they had a little bit of time and thought, yeah, they could possibly do it because um, Tessada was oh, such a distraction. The, there's the hook on Valor. She does get oh, away now. And Rhaegar is picked off. Shen might also die. Whoop. Uh, yep, he goes down. And Vipolino. No. Yep, he does go down now. And they do give chase to, Ch uh, to Valor. But a nice block here by Stitches on Bakery. Well, you can just uh, put out some more damage. Um, Gucci is still up there. Uh, not doing all that much though. They have still haven't gotten the fort. No. All oh, we're still missing up. the hook. But uh, Bakery, he's in trouble. I mean, he's completely out of position. Force wall, oh, even missing the force wall. He should have gotten that. And yeah. I think they will get him in the end. There's no yeah. way to, to run from this. Yeah, definitely. I mean, right, right now, alternate is still a little bit in favor because, it's, yeah, they're not only. Look at that! But, oh, okay. finally, with the deep dive and the, um, and the chain stun, he does get it. Yeah. Right now, definitely, uh, alternate is still in, in favor of that game. They're in the lead. Uh, not do they only lead in kills, uh, even though no fought has fallen. Oh, you know, pops his ult to get away there, because yeah, otherwise he could have just insta died. But if you look at the bot line, the bot line is actually pushing for alternate, and they will definitely get the mid fort now. Yeah, they will grab that fort, and maybe even bot fort. No, it's not not as heavily pushed, and we do have all five five heroes for playing with pain up. So alternate really dominating position right now. They will be level 16 soon, and with that level 16, I think they can put on even more pressure. There comes the force ball out of bakery, but not really capitalizing on it. They don't have any assassin there to put out the damage. There comes the bloodlust. Maybe they can pop it out now, but no, doesn't look like it. Shen yeah. still up, but Anubarak is taken out. Rayner might fall here. Oh yes, he does go down. They do stake out stitches, and Shen is still in there. Zebo has to get away and looks like they can't chase him down. Pain uh, might be able to. There comes the pickup on Falstad, but Vala was taken out in that engagement as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know why, why Vala died here. This was. This was. This was. I don't know if it was dumb engagement for alternate, but they maybe should have backed and just played it the safe way. Yeah, yeah because they should have backed off. Yeah, get a control over the hard cams on top or bottom as well. Uh, Bonner was pushing for in their favor, so it was actually no problem. But uh, they completely focused target Chen, which was I don't know if that was that, that, that might be a mistake. Well, he he was on cooldown, so um, usually would never go for that focus fire on Chen, but he was on cooldown, so you can do it. But I don't think it was the right decision right there. Yeah, but, but the thing is, if, right if Rainer the if Rainer survives in the back, yeah, that's right. And now we have the easy cam going. Art camp almost taken here as well. Vibellino has to go back right now. But they did grab a lot of camps right now. Grab the hard camp, grab the easy camp bottom, easy camp top. But the same thing's coming, coming their way here by alternate. And they have another garden terror pushing with this. This might be another fast game for them if they do push this through. I'm, I'm not so sure. Uh, it's still both both teams have level 16, so we also have their uh, level 16 talents, and they might be actually be able to defend that. Or Pain gets here caught by the plant. Uh, I think they're gonna get that keep at least. Though. Yeah, definitely. I thought they maybe go for the bottom bottom fort, but nice shield out of Tessadar. But yeah, yeah they're gonna get that keep, and I think they might turn around after the after that. I I don't think they should push the nexus right now. That would be too much trouble coming in, and now. There comes the deep dive out of the loop, and another oh. shock and awe, really nice shock and awe, hidden bakery there. He might go down, no, he face shifts away, Shen goes down though, and Rainer also fought in that engagement. Yeah. And with two heroes That's down, true. they might actually face, uh, just focus down the Nexus. Oh, Cyborg completely caught out of position, Vela just right in the middle of everything there, and now they're just gonna take out the Nexus. Only Rhaegar and Tassel are left, 
they don't stand a chance. There comes the force wall for good measure, but it's not gonna help. 2-0 here for Team Alternate. Wow. If you can First game was close, the second game not so much. If you look at the last team fight, I guess the thing that really stood out, stood out for Alternate was the combination of the ultimates. I mean, Falls had popped the ultimate, it caught a lot of members of PPP. Uh, they were actually already down low with the hit points after Falls had popped that ultimate. And then there was the amazing Uther stun out of Krolu. So yeah, that they just were able to focus everyone down. Yeah, really, really nice team fights out of them. And uh, some nice decision making. I mean, early on, it looked like PPP could really, um, well, could really gain traction. Uh, but, I mean, I think everything just turned around once Rainer fell in that engagement and um, they got uh, three heroes out of that. And then they just counter pushed every, th every time and uh, PPP couldn't really get out of it.